Hey guys and gals, back here with my non-Euclidean geometry series, showing you how I did this infinite staircase. So this would be good for maps in like a corner of a castle or something. You want the player to go up and down, but they'll never reach the top or bottom. You give them, you give them multiple branch options, probably not the six I gave, maybe two or three, maybe four. You put them in various spots so they can go in different paths in the thing, but they can't go to like the, figure out what's at the top, what's at the bottom. Gives them a sense of uh, depth illusionment. So what you see is there's the teleporter there. At, at the very bottom there's a teleporter, at the top we teleport to the bottom. It's not as, I didn't get this one quite as smooth as I would have liked, but it's not too bad. So we start right at the pink, it's right around the corner from pink, and as you can see, that we're at the real bottom here, which we just stop. If we go up, we're now suddenly at the top here, and we'd be walking down to black. But if we skip past that, we see we did it quite a bit to get the ceiling right and lighting. So it looks it looked the same and as we walk down. And all the lighting, you don't notice any difference in lighting here. Same trick as before. One wide corridor to stop the jerkiness. Doing tricks. Oh, it's outside here. I'll just break out. Oof. I just walked into the teleport. Oops, that was silly. Okay. So here's a teleport. The point zero trick to keep them on the block. Actually, should have probably done a half on here because we're landing on a half... Uh, no, we're doing it on a full block. Okay. So that's our same pulsers. I'm going to go, I'm going to break out somewhere I can break out. I can show you the layout. So what we have is our wool rooms. You can see them opposite sides. I probably added a bit too many in there. Made this slightly too tall with the staircase it was, but it worked. It shows the example nicely. You have our top teleporter taking you to the bottom, and bottom teleporter taking you to the top. Now these are right beside each other, so when you're walking down, you won't hit the other one, but if you walk down and then walk back up again, you will trigger the other one, so like this one takes you up to this block inside it on this block here, and you're supposed to be walking down. But if you change your mind as soon as you teleport and walk back up, you get teleported right back down. Now I wouldn't recommend using pulsers; they make a lot of noise with the torch burnout. I'll show you that. Yeah, so a bit obvious. I was having trouble with using uh, what was a oops uh, the comparator, a one tick comparator clock where it wasn't actually triggering the hop, or the command block at all, which was really odd. So I just used the tried and true reliable, been here since alpha, torch burnout uh, pulser. So yeah, that's all the examples here, except this, which didn't turn out as nice as I'd like. I'll show you as a little bonus here at the end. Just an infinite drop. And it's fairly t well timed to my frame rate because you can see the as I'm falling, I seem to slow down as the cap as the shutter rolls, and then I start falling again. So you can probably play this off because the, the slowdown is fake. If you look up, you can see how we're actually falling and teleporting back up. We actually look like we're slowing down before we actually hit the command block, and that's due to frame rate and the lines on the wall and the velocity we're falling at. So that's just that one teleporter up to the top. Nothing special about that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the series. If you like it, like it, I can try and design some more of these, maybe take some more intricate ones, build them into a nice theme or something instead of just these quartz uh, rooms, show you how they'd actually be using the map. But anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.